Hey. It's, uh, oh, yeah. It's an African report, including uh, Madagascar. Uh, hey, it seems like this, uh, at least uh, whatever, whatever, whatever COVID is knocking down, even though Madagascar is supposed to have that, you know, some kind of beverage, COVID uh, something, organics. Oh, um, so um, what is this? This is a company called Overrise Dairies or something like that. And they make this. Well, this is a source purchase, blah, 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 blah. Well, I guess it's uh, it's pure. Let me read this thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, lemonade. Water, sugar, concentrated lemon, juice, um, natural flavors, blah, blah, blah. Concentrated lemon juice. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's good. So, and of course, right now we're in the south. <laughs> we're in the backyard, a backyard in the south. I'm sitting on the, I'm sitting on the, uh, the purple throne, which I guess you know is muggy right now. It looks like it might be going to be some. Oof. So I might have to take the throne down and do something for place. Lemonade, lemonade. Or here a few days, and I'm I'm southern. <laughs> I'm southern. Let me taste it. It's gotta be sweet, you know. That's too sweet, that's good. Anyway, Africa report. I'm sorry. I have my after I have my sandwich. I'm a little sandwich maker. Let me just taste my avocado. Mmm. Mmm. Stay there. I'm an avocado addict. Okay, look. Ooh. Ooh, it's hot out here. Africa report. This is amazing. Okay, I just saw, you know, uh, Judas Malema. Let me give you a little history. When I came to South Africa in 2003, Judas Malema was in what's called the ANC Youth League. And the ANC Youth League is the kind of organization, you know, every, I think uh, Madiba started, um, um, Nelson Mandela started it, or was it Earl, first incarnation. And, you know, since then it's just been going. But what it is, remember, it's the ANC Youth League, which basically means it's hooked up with the ANC. So what, you, what, what what started to happen, you would ascend through the ANC Youth League. Um, too bad the, does the Women League do? There's the ANC Women's League. Too. Anyway, you ascend through the Youth League, and then uh, what would happen is basically you'd be the, the next, you know, whatever. Well, Juice Malema was there, and um, he, at that time he was, um, I said, no, Becky was president. But, but anyway, somehow, uh, Malema would say, you know, he'd ride and die for Zuma. <laughs> well, something happened somewhere, and they kicked him out of the ANC youth thing. And you know how you know how people get when they think they kicked out of the But when you have when you when no, what he did, he went and started his own political party. Oh, you gonna play that game? And I was the head of the ANC youth league, and you know because he was like when he was you know, so he started the economic freedom fighters. Now back from. Early on, you always hear the name of uh, Madiba's president, then you have Beke, uh, and then uh, they was just holding the place. And then you have, uh, of Zuma. And Zuma's a lot of corruption and and stuff. But here's how that happens. You know, say if you're in the ANC Youth League, right? And some rich guy, you know, you know, say, they take an interest in you, they support you, and he'll take you on vacation. So you're a friend. So then, like, maybe six years later, you ascend to somebody, and then you assign them a, 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 a tender, but tender's like, you know, uh, a tender, like a, a contract, you know, for a company. It's this company said, why are you giving it to, oh, this is my old friend. You see how that works? Okay. Well, now, when the current president is uh, Ramaphosa. I don't even like to say his name. Um, uh, but he started out, let me say how he started out. First time we see Ramaphosa, he's holding the microphone from the deep as he gets out of, out of, you know, out of prison, whatever. Okay? Okay. I'm sorry. The first time we see him, he's organizing miners. You know, you know digging it in, get gold with it. He's organized as a union. Okay? So they go. Next time we see him, he's holding in Cape Town, the, the, the little you know, city, he's holding a microphone for Madiba so Madiba can make his little speech. Okay? Great. The next time we see him, oh, I'm sorry, next time we know of him, because you had the whole, the Gadessa one or whatever, but he has a company, whatever, have, and then he gets the contract for all the McDonald's in South Africa. Okay? Now remember, they ain't got no money or nothing like that. Now here's the thing. 
So he's he, he, he's in now charge of all the McDonald's. Now he could have said, I've said this many times. He could have said it at this point. Hey, look, you know we like a, uh, you know we like uh, you know we got we see a lot of examples of that. But when you bring in your little corporation, we know how it works. You know you have your you have your you know your your whatever those people are up top the board the board whatever it is, and then the board of directors whatever they call. It. Then you have the the the, the, the managers you know like like the Cyril's, the, the Ramaphosa class you know the, the the CEO whatever have you. Then you have the workers right. Now, he could have said at that particular point, hey, you know, we're in a new country that we don't want to do things the way y'all do it. You're going to come down to here, then you got to do it our way. And here's what we're going to do. Usually, you know, I see you want you want me to pay my workers five rand an hour. I should say dollars. No, no, I just uh, five rand an hour. Nah, man. We're going to pay them 30 rand an hour. They're going to say, well, where's that money coming from? Well, we're going to take a little from the little body or whatever that do. Then we're going to take money from that. And my, and my little manager, that's we take money. And then, see what now, If he'd have done that, then all the other, like the KFCs and the Nando's, all those other, you know, whatever, they would have to raise their salaries to 30, 30 rand an hour. You see what I'm saying? So he had an opportunity to change this. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Now, the next thing I, let me The next thing we see him, he's, uh, 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 oh, the next time we see him, he's deputy vice president. Yeah, deputy vice president, deputy under under, under Zuma. I hope I got this thing right. I should have looked it up. Under Zuma, right? But what he did with the the, the, the miners, the, uh, you heard this place called Maracana. The miners were striking, whatever have you. Nice peaceful protest, whatever have you. They were talking, talking to the forces, whatever have you. They was coming to a, a good rip of You know, so they was coming to a, an agreement. And Sarah Ramaphosa calls. The police, all them people there, and says, get rid of them. Okay, I'm, you know, this way, get rid of them. So, pff, all of a sudden, there's these the peaceful pro the, 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 the forces are pff, 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 killing miners. They kill miners. The same guy that, 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 that started the union killed his own peoples. Why did he kill his own people? Well, call you capitalism, a predatory capitalist. He got in with them. Okay, so that's just, I'm like, man, that's messed up. And then, okay, so he's deputy vice president. Now he's now he's president of the country. I'm gonna give him some. But here's the problem. And here's so Jews Malema, the same cat. That's the EFF. He's he when he became when he came to when he came to the parliament, right? Where was I? It must have been 2015, 16. So wherever it was, right? I said right there, oh, parliament's gonna be fun. And sure enough, the first thing he said, y'all be, be no more sleeping in parliament. He was just the EFS was just beating them to death. And they didn't wear regular suits. They wear these like workers. The jumpers, red worker jumpers. So he said that was into the worker thing, right? Okay. You know, identifying with the downtrodden, you know, with the, with the, with the whatever. Okay. You know, with the domestics and the, and the petrol things, you know, those kind of things. Domestic, you know, domestic. Things. Okay. So, now what happens? Excuse me. Don't worry, I'm going to make this fast because I have my sandwich here. See? Pumpernickel bread, spinach, a little egg, uh, Avocado, of course. I'm an avocado addict. I think it's all in there. Oh, cucumber? Whatever. And if vegan eggs is the, you know, thing. Okay. So, now we have a... Juice Malema gets up. Um, they have a speech, right? I, I, I made a link to one speech where he was talking about, you know, Africa should be, you know, one. one, You know, so that way you have more power for, and deal with the rest of the world. Okay, fine. But then there's the second speech that was that was posted. I just saw it. Well, Julius Malema gives the history of what happened. Everyone, what happened? South Africa was on some course. What happened? When Deepu became the first president, what happened? Well, here's what he says. I'm not going to. I don't know. The, I don't know. The, I should look it up. I don't know. The guys. I'll put a link. I'll put a link so you can see. It. It's, uh, 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 anyway, a channel, I, a channel I subscribe. So if you're interested in Africa, this particular guy is good. Uh, Dr. Mumby is all right for Africa, but yeah. Anyway, Matter. Okay, so he says, "Well, what happened when Madiba got out of jail? Immediately, Sarah Ramaphosa was oh, I'm sorry. Sarah Ramaphosa was an adopted child by this really rich family. So, what what happened when Madiba got out of jail? Sarah Ramaphosa took him to this family. They had all the meetings at this big palatial, whatever. Da, 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 da. And so, the reason why everything changed is because basically it was just Sarah Ramaphosa or this guy uh, uh, Sengali." You know, and so one white guy, 
one white guy changed the history of South Africa. If this is what he's claiming. So, so what he's saying is that, you know, a white... Okay, I'm not going to finish the sentence. What I'm going to do is I'll put the link, because this is a short African report. So, gotta do. so what's going to happen? I'll put the link right on the system. And then you'll see for yourself, because Malema is a really good speaker. You'll love him, okay? So that's it for me. T, from the past, I'm taking the trenches to bed. Letting you know, for, for Africa, just letting you know what's happening. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. Oh, it's funny.